Welcome to growing your own food in your own backyard and if you are new to my channel please consider subscribing and don't forget to hit the like button. My three pineapple plants are nearly over two years old in zone 5b. In September I did a video on how to use overripe and rotten apples to produce ethylene gas which is a ripening plant hormone to force this particular pineapple to fruit. If you check out my video above, you and I think that was about two months ago, you would be able to see the process I used when I used rotten apples to produce ethylene gas. And I'm still looking for the fruit and I have yet to see it. So it's now been two months and again I'm looking for that flower spike that should be coming up here in the middle of this particular plant because this is the largest plant of the three. However, um, I'm not seeing anything and this is just one method of trying to force fruiting or force flowering in order to get a pineapple fruit. So now I'm going to try a second method of inducing flowering by applying calcium carbide to induce flowering in this pineapple plant because this is the second largest one and then of course that's the smallest one and the mistake I made on this one is I planted a couple of, of pineapple plant tops and it's kind of growing um, a little crowded and I think it's, it's, it's growing slow compared to this one and this one. So this one has already been induced again with rotten apples to produce ethylene gas. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you the calcium carbonite that I'm going to use which is right here. And I ordered this on Amazon and um, I have did some research and found that this is to be a pretty good product. So if you will see, it has little pellets. So I'm going to put about three pellets in the water. And it's going to fizz. So one, two, three. And you can see it fizzing. Once it stops fizzing, then I'm going to go ahead and pour this solution in the middle of this plant. So we'll just continue watching it fizz. Calcium carb carbide reacts immediately when it comes into contact with water and it produces alkaline gas which induces flowering and eventually fruiting. So I'm going to go ahead and start pouring the mixture in the center and the middle, uh, in the middle of the leaves at the top of this plant. So th again, this is the second method I'm using and I'm going to see which one seems to do best. Okay. Now I'm going to be able to make comparisons between this pineapple plant and this pineapple plant to try to determine which one is going to force fruiting in, this pl in these plants. 
it will be interesting to see which one works best and I will do a follow-up in a couple of months to determine if the calcium carbide pellets that I put in ice water would produce and force fruiting in this plant before fruiting in this plant. I'm a little concerned whether the method with the rotten apple actually worked because I did keep this out of my grow light. My plants are actually growing in grow light indoors because I'm in zone 5B and I do bring them indoors during the winter and put them outside during the summer. And because pineapple plants fruit better when they're not in direct light, especially when it's outside and if they're in their natural environment, usually during the winter time, they, um, it seemed to um, force the fruiting a little better. So I had it outside of my grow light for about a good month. And again, every once in a while I peek down to see if there's any, uh, if there's a flower spike coming up. So I just wanted to bring you along and show you how I am trying to get fruits on my pineapple plants. And if you also want to look at my video where I have a series of updates where I actually rooted the top of an organic pineapple plant. I showed the roots. Once I pulled it up from water, I repotted them. I was showing a succession of the three different plants that I was growing. So you can understand the process and the two years I've spent growing these beautiful pineapple plants to the size they are now. Right now, it's time for them to start fruiting. That is going to be the fruit of my labor. And I'm really excited to determine if we can really grow pineapple plants in Zone 5B. Again, make sure you bring them in during the winter, whether you have good um, uh, natural sunlight coming from your uh, south expo southern exposure windows or you put them under a grow light. If I'm successful, then I have been able to demonstrate that we can have fresh pineapple growing in Zone 5B. So um, thank you for watching. Hopefully in the next couple of months when I do another update, I should see a flower spike on one of these pineapple plants and be able to start producing some fruit. Thank you for watching and don't forget to hit the like button.